Well, hi there. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're thinking about the cross being the, the centre of uh, everything, really, that God is doing in the world. And, and our readings today come from 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 to 16. just want to read the first couple of verses for you. Paul writes, When I came to you, brothers, I did not come with eloquence or superior wisdom as I proclaimed to you the testimony about God. For I resolved to know nothing while I was with you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. Certainly in Paul's thinking, the cross was at the centre of all that he did. And the theme of the cross is really the centre of human history. It's the centre of all that God wants to do in the world. There are many reasons why this is so. Some of this we, we will explore. Over the years, um, there's been a lot of things that we've heard, uh, we've probably said, or we've read about the cross. It is the central issue of our faith, and it must remain always the very centre of our faith, because it's the centre of God's plan for salvation. So if we uh, get sidetracked on other things, and, and uh, there are many other things that are great, um, evangelism is great, loving people is great, um, meeting social needs is great stuff, but nothing must allow us to remove the cross from the centre of our thinking and the centre of our lives. As a young Christian, you were probably taught that a Christ came, no one can come to Christ and know God except through the cross. P.T. Forsyth, a preacher of a past generation, said... Christ to us is what his cross is. If you move faith from the centre, you have driven a nail into the church's coffin. Time and again, uh, we hear in uh, TV or in the newspaper or a magazine ridiculous statements about all religions being the same and all paths are leading to God. Of course, there is no other religion, there is no other path that has the cross because the cross is central. The cross is essential. And we need to uh, have the cross at the very centre of our hearts and our minds. Father, we, we do thank you for Jesus and his willingness to die on the cross. Pray, Father, that you would help us to keep that sacrifice at the centre of our thinking always. And help us to remember, Father, that you call us to deny ourselves to take up our cross and to follow Jesus. It's in his name that we pray.